what do escalator, aspirin, and zipper all have in common. I'm going to spend the next three minutes talking about this. I'm Angela Langlotz, trademark and copyright attorney. If you have trademark or copyright questions, drop them into the comments below. I'll answer them in a future live video. And don't forget to like and subscribe so that you get my daily trademark and copyright videos. So what do escalator, aspirin, and zipper all have in common? Well, they all used to be trademarks before their trademark owners allowed these marks to lose their distinctive character via what we trademark attorneys call genericide. Now, genericide happens when the trademark owner allows their trademark to become generic. In other words, it describes the thing, right? So I have an escalator moving staircase and then I start calling it an escalator and pretty soon everybody else starts calling my escalator brand moving staircases an escalator. And then the term escalator becomes what the moving staircase is known. And that my friends is genericide. When your mark goes generic, that's it. It's dead. <laughs> Why? Well, because trademarks identify the source of the goods and services, not the goods and services themselves. So we know that the escalator brand moving staircase, maybe it comes from the escalator corporation. But now that we're calling it an escalator, we can call any moving staircase an escalator. And that's when genericide kicks in. So if your mark becomes such a household name, it's kind of a good thing when you think about it, it, it becomes such a household name that everybody knows the thing as your brand name. So it sounds like it should be cool, right? No, it's not cool. And the reason why it's not cool is because that's how your brand loses its distinctiveness. If every movable staircase is called an escalator, then there's no way to distinguish your escalator brand from other brands of moving staircases. So your mark has lost its distinctive character and now is no longer a trademark. Because remember, a trademark describes your goods and services, not the general class of things which is represented by the name which those things are called. Zipper, the same thing. Zipper sounds like a pretty cool trademark. It's kind of onomatopoetic. It describes a toothed closure that people use to close their clothing and a lot of other things like garment bags and luggage. And if we start calling a zipper a zipper instead of a zipper brand closure, that's how things become generic. If we call aspirin pain reliever, aspirin brand pain, pain reliever, aspirin instead of aspirin brand analgesic or aspirin brand pain reliever, then again, we're allowing our trademark, which was distinctive, aspirin, to become merely an identifier for pain relievers that are made, you know, well, I guess we call it aspirin. It's hard for me to wrap my head around that one, <laughs> but you get the picture. So if you start using your trademark the wrong way, hint, trademarks are adjectives, not nouns, right? So it's Kleenex brand facial tissue, not a Kleenex. So when you have a trademark, you want to make sure that you're using your trademark as an adjective and not a noun. I'm Angela Langlotz. I go live here on weekdays to talk trademarks and copyrights. You can find me online at trademarkdoctor.net. I'm on YouTube at video.trademarkdoctor.net forward slash YouTube. I'm also on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash trademarkdoctor. If you have trademark law questions, drop them into the comments below. I will answer them on a future live video.